Hello people. Because of this, I can't do this. So I'm forced to use this. Hello people, this is uh, my uh, ceiling fan turbine that I've had up on the pole in the garden uh, for three over three years, uh, knocking four years. And uh, the wind we've been having kind of made sure as it uh, came down. It it didn't dismount, um, it didn't disconnect itself from the um, pole. All that one, one of these uh, came off, and this one started to go the same way. So I thought, right, let's get it down before someone flies up and hit somebody. Um, I've taken the nuts off. I'm going to try to see if I can separate the veins from the turbine. So I can... And yep. Sorry, it's right. And the nuts in the way. Oh, there we go. The veins are made out of uh, microwave uh, covers. So there's a, the cap, which is stood up very well, is off a Maxwell coffee jar. There we go, and just double check you to see that in the camera. Let's have a closer look, shall we? See the right way around. Yeah, what well, this is a bog standard ceiling fan that uh, I've modified. Ooh. Ah, here we are, we've got a date on here. 7th of April. 2011. So that's uh, nearly five years. Nearly. So that's it's done very, very well. Um, it kept my car batteries, well, it kept them topped up, but uh, added power at night. Uh, there wasn't a lot of amperage coming out, so it was milliamps, which like a trickle charge, which is good. And you can see where the magnets are. Well, I've got two there, I've no idea. It's, uh, unless that one's slipped. There's another, yeah, they've slipped. You can see where they've slipped. That's what that is. But it still produces power even now. And that is so amazing. Um, if I can work out these cables, I may even be able to show it on a meter. So uh, let me get that set up. And then I'll come back to you. Ok 
Okay, peeps. Um, as you can see, I was forced to take the uh, ceiling fan apart. Um, ceiling fan bolt apart. Vertical axis wind turbine. Uh, the reason being was when I wanted to take the um, vane carrier off, I had to uh, break this screw and I wanted to change the screws anyway um, to better ones. Um, as you can see, seven, this is a UK date. 7411, that is 7th of April 2011, and that's when I put her up. So she, I've only recently brought her in, as you know, and um, I think she's done very well, still producing, even though she's in a little bit of a mess. And I'll show you what I mean. And if I turn the screen of the camera towards me, I could see then what you're looking at. Right. As you can see, the <laughs> magnets have uh, gone out of place a bit. But also, it's got a little bit of fodder, shall we say. <laughs> Bits of rust. Um... I'm, I'm totally amazed that um, it's still producing, even if it is at a lower current. You know, it's uh, absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is I should be uh, taking these magnets out. I'll have to get something to uh, give me a hand with that. Um, I should still be keeping the case. I'm going to clean it out and give it a paint with some, um, you Americans call it Rust-Oleum, over here we call it um, Hammerite. Uh, I think you've got Hammerite over there, I'm not certain. But, um, I mean, the bearings are also a bit um, the worse for wear. I mean, that is, that's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. But... I could save myself a lot of hassle and change it for a new one. But then I thought, well, that's, that's defeating the object. I mean, if this thing's still generating power, then why not just change the bearings? I, mean, I don't know what the bottom bearings like. Well, that's, 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 that's quite free. Bottom bearing is quite free. It's this uh, top bearing that's... Uh, I don't know there. It, there's no graunching or anything like that. I think it's just where it's cold and it's clamped down. Maybe a good soak in some WD-40 might uh, do the trick. But yes, um, I'm going to take the magnets out, clean her out, uh, yeah I will disassemble her. Um, how have I got her mounted? Well I pulled this uh, channel for another project. Let me pull you out a minute and uh, you'll be able to see better. Right, now um, this channel as I say was bought for another project and um, all I did was I just opened up one of these slots a little bit wider and dropped her in, done the nut up, job done. Um, the cables are, have got heat shrink over them, but I haven't um, heated it up so it's easy to take off and it makes uh, life a lot easier. So if anything happened to these cables or I wanted to change the um, the turbine itself, because the coils were knackered, I could just unsolder the wires and uh, use them on the next one. And talking of the next one,
Ta da! Put you out a bit further so you see what I'm doing. Well, that's as far as it will go. <laughs> oh well. Okay. What I'll do is I'll uh, just take this out a minute and show you. There we go. <laughs> and there is the next one I'm going to be putting up. Now uh, this one is going to be the uh, Diamond D project. Um, another of my uh, subscribers has shown a great interest in my ceiling fan vaults, so I thought I'd name one after her. The Molly vault is still going ahead. Um, that's on the back burner at the moment. Um, simply because I haven't uh, had the time to get around to doing it. Um, this unfortunately took priority uh, trying to sort this out. But um, this will be a, a stripped down job. But you'll see that this is a lot thicker by a long chalk. And uh, that's going to make life a lot easier for me. I suspect that the coils in here are quite um, thick wires. But uh, <coughs> I'll be doing a set of videos on uh, setting this one up and um, stripping it down, etc. Now, when I've got these uh, bolts complete, what I'm going to be doing is not using a plywood vein carrier. I will be using a steel one. This is uh, 16th I think mild steel. I'm, I'm leaving it square um, simply because it will allow me to put four veins on at a, a distance away from the, the um, bolt and also it'll mean that it'll weather better because I should be uh, treating it um, for uh, going out into uh, the weathers we have here in the UK. Um, excuse me. The, um, the veins, and I know this is a bit on the wank, bonk, sorry, um, but I, sh I shall sort all that out. It's only where I've been uh, doing some hammering on that side, I'll just down this side and get it flat again, no problem. Um, back to this, uh, I want to get this um, turbine refurbished and back up ASAP because at the moment we're uh, getting extremely high winds and even in the state that um, this one was in it was still producing power with two veins and one of them was virtually hanging off so uh, that's why I want to keep this one going if I can because uh, you know it's It was basically my first project in uh, wind turbine um, electric generation. So uh, it's a bit uh, of a nostalgic thing for me. Uh, see how long it can go, you know, how long can it last. Because that's, that's what this is all about, is to make a vault, a uh, vertical axis wind turbine, that can last for years, you know, shove it up and forget basically. Um, no, I didn't do any yearly maintenance or anything like that. This is the first time this has been down for any maintenance. So um, that will be uh, the next one on the card pod, uh, people. 
So there you are. Okay, and uh, what I'll do is I'll clean this one out, show it to you clean down, ready for painting, and um, probably putting the magnets back in and show you how I do that. And funnily enough, the magnets were only stuck in with um, Bostic type glue, uh, everyday general purpose glue that sticks everything. Um, it's meant to be for internal use, but it'll, it'll stick. I use it um, outdoors, and um, <coughs> the, the the magnets. Oh, you can tell by the the rust pattern that they only moved once. There was no um, sliding along and uh, having different rings. So uh, you know it's. Um, It's good stuff. I mean, I've, I've done uh, experimental coils, which I've um, stuck outside in all weathers, and it hasn't broken down at all. So uh, that's the glue I should be using to open magnets. Right, I'll let you go, and um, I'll get the next uh, part ready. Thanks, peeps.